Wiring and connection of the 120 volt electric heating floor mat and its thermostat. Select the appropriate junction box and installation location. Then install the thermostat junction box for the electric floor heating mat. A good solution is to install a 4x4x2 and 1 8 inch metal junction box that will fit the cable and thermostat. The thermostat should be installed 60 inches from the floor. Open one of the knockouts in the junction box and install the approved cable connector. Install the cable and insert it into the cable connector. The NEC does not strictly require a dedicated circuit for radiant electric floor heating, but does require the manufacturer's instructions to be followed. NEC 2020 Article 110.3 B. The manufacturer's instructions state that electric under floor heating should be powered from a dedicated electric circuit. This is also good electrical installation practice. Install the junction box ground screw. Properly sized non-metallic electrical tubing, ENT, will be used as a sleeve for installing the electrical mat power cable. Half-inch ENT, electrical non-metallic tubing, fits this installation. The floor mat installer will route the floor mat cable through the installed ENT tubing sleeve. ENT half-inch tubing ENT half-inch connector Install the ENT connector at the end of the end tubing. Open the knockout in the junction box to install the ENT tubing connector. Insert the ENT conduit connector into the knockout and secure with lock nut. Secure the conduit to the stud, required no more than 3 feet from any junction box and no less than 1 and quarter inch from the edge of the stud. Remove the cable sheath. Wrap the ground wire around the screw and tighten the screw. Cut the wires to the desired length, not less than 6 inches. Secure the hot, black, wire that can be energized with a wire nut. Insert the wires into the junction box. 4 inches square metal junction box half inch 1 gang rise ring. Install 4 inches square metal junction box half inch 1 gang rise ring. Install the floor temperature sensor with cable and fasten its cable to the conduit, permitted by NEC 2020 Article 300.11, C, 2. The sensor cable must not enter the junction box through any knockout and be in the same junction box as the power cable, Class 1, NEC 2020 Article 725.136. The floor heating sensor cable should be left in front of the junction box, do not enter it. The electric radiant heating installer will pull the power cable through the non-metallic conduit. After installing the sheetrock, make sure the power is off. Floor mat power cable. Floor mat temperature sensor cable. Remove the mat and temperature sensor cable from the junction box, if inserted. Cut the cable to the desired length, minimum 6 inches required. Carefully open the ground shield of the mat's power cable and pull out the two wires from the ground shield. Mat power wires pulled out of grounding shield. Strip the ends of the mat wires about half inch. Twist the ground shield mesh and connect it to the ground, bare, wire from the junction box. Insert the connected wires into the junction box. Thermostat for electric floor heating TH115A120S This thermostat does not have built-in GFCI protection. Electric floor heating requires GFCI protection per NEC 2020 Article 210.8.
may also require AFCI protection in certain areas of the home per NEC 2020. When the thermostat does not have a built-in GFCI protection device, protection must be provided on the supply side by any GFCI switch, receptacle or circuit breaker. Thermostat unit Wire nuts and installation screws Back of the thermostat Line in neutral wire Line in hot wire Load neutral wire Load hot wire Strip approximately half inch of insulation from the wire ends of the power cable Using wire nuts, connect the wires as follows Neutral, white, line, wire from the thermostat to the neutral, white, wire from the power cable. Hot, black, line, wire from the thermostat to the hot, black, wire from the power supply cable. Neutral, white, load, wire from the thermostat to the neutral, white, wire from the mat cable. Hot, black, load, wire from the thermostat to the hot, black wire from the mat cable. Be careful not to mix up the wiring as this may damage the thermostat. Insert the spliced connections into the junction box. Loosen the screw on the bottom of the thermostat and remove the thermostat unit from the base. Heating mat sensor connection screws. Openings for the floor sensor wire. Thermostat mounting screw holes Insert the heating sensor wire into one of the two wire holes Push the excessive sensor wire behind the sheetrock Connect the sensor wire to the sensor terminal screws in any order Level the base of the thermostat and secure it with the mounting screws Slot to hold the thermostat unit after installation. Thermostat base pin contact receptacle. Insert the tab of the thermostat unit into the slot of the thermostat base and push the unit towards the base until the pins of the unit fit into the receptacle of the base pin. Tighten the bottom screw of the thermostat to prevent the unit from detaching from the base. Provide GFCI protection, required for this type of thermostat, and power the floor heating system. Follow the instruction to set the thermostat. Example of installing a thermostat with built-in GFCI protection. Thermostat connection junction box before sheetrock installation. Thermostat connection junction box after sheetrock installation. Make sure the power is off. Power supply cable. Floor mat power cable. Floor mat sensor wire. OJ Microline UDG 4999 thermostat. Thermostat package contains. Thermostat unit. Installation screws. Instruction. Thermostat front view Thermostat back view Remove the protective cover from the connection terminals L1, L, line hot connection terminal L2, N, line neutral connection terminal Load terminals GFCI test button Screw that secures the thermostat faceplate to the base. Loosen the securing screw and pull the main thermostat unit away from the base. Connection terminals of the floor temperature sensor. Thermostat base tabs. Thermostat unit slots. Thermostat main unit pin receptacle. Main unit pin plug. GFCI test button Floor sensor wire entry holes Screw that secures the thermostat faceplate to the base 
Installation screw holes GFCI status light Cut cables to desired length, not less than 6 inches required Remove the mat cable sheath, do not damage the ground shield under the cable sheath. Carefully open the ground shield of the mat's power cable and pull out the two wires from the ground shield. Strip approximately half inch of insulation from the wire ends of the mat cable wires. Also, strip about half inch of the power cable wire ends. Twist the ground wire mash and connect to the ground, bare, wire from the junction box. Insert connected wires into the junction box. Connect the neutral, white, wire from the power cable to the line L2, N, neutral thermostat terminal. Connect the hot, black, wire from the power cable to the line L1, L, hot thermostat terminal. Connect the wires from the mat cable to the load terminals of the thermostat in any order. Reinstall the thermostat connection screw cover. Insert the sensor wire into one of the holes for it and push the remaining wire behind the drywall. Insert the thermostat and power wires into the junction box. Level the base of the thermostat and attach it to the junction box. Strip the ends of the sensor wires approximately quarter inch. Connect the sensor wires to the sensor terminals on the base. Align the slots on the thermostat unit with the tabs on the thermostat base. Push the unit towards the base until the pin plug on the unit fits into the pin receptacle on the base. Secure the unit to the base with the securing screw. Power on the thermostat and turn on the thermostat by pressing the ON button. Press the GFCI test button to test the GFCI. The thermostat will shut down, the red GFCI status light will flash and the screen will show, ground fault. Reset the GFCI by pressing the power button. Follow the instruction to set the thermostat. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.